If Massachusetts can force its citizens to buy health insurance, or if other states can force their citizens to buy car insurance, why can't the federal government force us all to buy health insurance? Well, the answer from a constitutional perspective is relatively straightforward. It's because the federal government is a government of limited and enumerated powers only. So every time Congress passes a law, it must prove that that law is based in one of the, the powers specified in Article 1, Section 8. So with the individual mandate, for example, that power source is the power to regulate commerce. But when state legislatures act, they're not limited that way. State legislatures are not governments or legislatures of limited and enumerated powers. Instead, state legislatures have residual power or police power is what it's commonly referred to. And the police power is what it sounds like. It's the power of of police. It allows the state to pass any kind of law it wants in the name of enhancing or protecting our life, our liberty, our property, perhaps even morality, and it doesn't have to ground its state laws in any particular enumerated power source. So state legislatures really have a lot more power than the federal government does. It was supposed to be that way. That's the message of the 10th Amendment to the Constitution, which says any power that's not given to the federal government by this Constitution is reserved to the states respectively or to the people.